Hello everyone, welcome back to your Love, Lust, or Lost reading here on my YouTube channel, Spirit of Me, 11 and 11, with your girl Stardust here. Now I'm going to be doing a Love, Lust, or Lost reading for the sign of Libra. Um, guys, I'd like to introduce you all to my new memberships, my channel memberships. Um, you can hit the join button down there by the subscribe button if you would like to join and become a member here with your girl Stardust and become enlightened with me. Um, so I offer three levels here. Level one for $4.99 is my Star Babies. And that is my, um, some of the perks are loyalty badges next to your name in chats, custom emojis to use in live chats, shout outs and videos, exclusive members only videos, and I'll even play games with you. There's gameplays there. So, you know, that should be pretty cool for you guys, right? For a level two, my Star Gazers at $9.99, you guys have all the perks of level one, the Star Babies, and you also get a members only monthly video release i'm going to be taking suggestions and releasing videos on the topics that you guys would like for me to release them in this is more than spirituality it's me sharing my life my story and my journey with you guys so whatever you would like to see let me know and i would definitely be uploading the videos and crafts cooking um my meditation practices just many different things there Level three is for my Ascended Stars. At $14.99, you guys can enjoy all the perks of level one and level two, as well as a guided meditation video release once a month. And I will be giving you spiritual advice and helping you guys through astrology, numerology, and tarot to ascend and live your best life as Ascended Stars, okay? Really, really great. I'm so glad to be introducing my memberships to you guys over here on my channel. Um, the level up is real, uh, the best is yet to come, and I'm so glad you guys are here and along for the journey. All right, now, um, Libra is an air sign, so this reading could also resonate with the Gemini or Aquarius as well, as air is your element. I'm going to be doing a card on this side for your person, um, a spread, a spread on this side for you, and down the middle is going to be the mutual energies between you and your person that's on your mind that you're thinking about. Tarot is timeless. These are events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that in the near future can unfold for some of you Libras, not all of you. Okay? Don't get too caught up in the genders here. Tarot is gender neutral, so you're king to be queens and vice versa. Spirit with messages from the romance. You got your card. I'm kind of... This is your romance angels, guys. I'm going to get energy from the romance angels for you guys, and then we will go into energy oracle and or tarot. Um, I just go with my intuition and what spirit is telling me to do. Mutual energies. Honeymoon. <laughs> Lovers. Okay, on your person's side, we have give your relationship a chance. On your side, stay optimistic about your love life. And honeymoon is in the middle. So I'm really seeing here that um, your person wants to come in and work on the connection here. Libra, whoever you're thinking about this person on your mind here sees you as someone that they have a divine connection with. You know, this person has a lot of genuine love and care for you. They want to give things a chance, right? Whatever happened, if you guys are in separation, this person who wants to get back on your good side, back in your good graces here. Um, this is somebody that you have a strong magnetic pull here too with the lovers in this picture here. I see that, you know, all is not well, but in time, they know that love heals all. And this person wants to give this relationship and situation a chance, okay? Your energy, your side Libra is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So for those of you who may not be feeling the best right now about your love, your situation, or your person, Spirit in the Universe is telling you that um, no situation goes without its trials and tribulations. This too shall pass. But thinking positive about your person in spite of whatever the current situation is or dynamics in that situation, looking forward to what you want from this person. Um, so long as you're not getting like really bad, bad energy from them. You know, your intuition, your inner compass is... Um, Steering your person towards you. And I believe the universe is telling you to receive this lighthearted energy in kind, to stay optimistic about it, and to think positive about the person and the connection in spite of what may have happened. Your mutual energies here is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So the situation could involve you guys having a honeymoon. Or for some of you guys, you're in the honeymoon phases here of the relationship. So it's very early on. So you're definitely getting to know each other um, and about each other here. It's definitely what I'm seeing. Um, I see for some of you guys, there could be possible marriage here in the future, but I they're definitely see that your person um, is wanting to get away with you. 
All right, for the tarot. What messages do we have? Oh, <laughs> for Libra. Oh, man. Libra's person. Um, we have Nine of Swords and Five of Pentacles. I feel like we have Air Energy and Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With that Nine of Swords. That's um, definitely Gemini, Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. All right, and for the mutual, I'm going to take in reversals here. Um, some of them may come out in reversals. Get a couple cards for you, and then one back for you, and one back for your person. Messages for my Libras. Love, lust, or lust. My deck is just in reverse. I'm like, why are all my cards? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Message of Spirit Deck for Libra's person. We got a lot of swords here. This person is thinking a lot about you. I see your person is healing. Yeah, you may have said some really, really harsh things to this person to hurt them. But someone from the past here, someone you've completed cycles with before. Um, I'm going to get your mutual energies and then I'll get into your spread. I see a lot of hurt taking place here, um, be it you or your person. Mutual energy spirit between neighbor and neighbor's person. For love, lust, and loss. Clean and cups. You both love each other. Wow. Mutual energy. It's a beautiful mutual energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here in that mutual energy. Four of Pentacles and the Empress. And at the bottom, King of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. This is the likely outcome here. I'm going to be doing a couple more cards to go along with that with the likely outcome. So in your person's energy, give your relationship a chance. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Four of Swords. So I see here this person is really having sleepless nights here, feeling like you left them out in the cold here. Um, five of Coats can be poverty stricken here. This person could just really, really be having a hard time getting by right now, feeling abandoned here, feeling a loss of self and a sense of um, purpose in your life on your journey at this point here. I see your person is really thinking about you a lot in their head. They have a lot of anxiety here. Um, low vibrational energies. This person could even be depressed. Um, Four of Swords is telling me that they are definitely healing, uh, meditating, going within right now. So I see that you guys are definitely in separation with the Four of Swords here. This is someone that has fallen back from the situation that or been pushed back. Um, I say they've been pushed back because on your side here, Libra, we have the world, Six of Cups and Knight of Swords. The world here is fixed energy. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. This is about all of the elements, all four of the elements here, earth, air, water, and fire, gathering, coming together as beings in the universe to witness and see this huge transformation, this cycle completed. Like you have angels that are here to oversee that your successes are carried out well, that you are going through on things that you set up for yourself, plans you've made. This is looking like um, healthy, fruitful relationships for some of you guys. If you have any educational training or you're going right now, I see successful completions there. Like things really, really seem good for you. And then your person from the past comes back here, right? So when you cut off in the past, Knight of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your person is coming in very impulsive here very quick and swift they've made their mind up that they want to come back to you because there's a lot of love for you they want to give this relationship a chance again and they're you they feel like you're their whole world like you would complete them right so the past is coming back <laughs> um honeymoon energy mutual energies is queen of cups and the fourth pentacles this is a love like you or your person has never experienced before and for that you both want to hold on to this really really tight i feel like one of you if not maybe both of you at some point at different times could have been overextending your cup of love giving a little too much being a little too clingy and emotionally attached to this person here um the inference here is showing abundance of love um that you have this is the queen of all queens here this person sees you as very divine motherly they see that you have a lot of hidden talents you're very creative and that you're somebody that they can create and grow with i see that in this connection here, Libra, your person wants to possibly marry you and give you children. With Honeymoon, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress energy, 
Four of Pentacles here. Again, it could be that some of you guys right now are currently just experiencing finances being low right now. You know, um, borrowing from Paul to pay Peter. Don't have enough to get by or make ends meet right now because of COVID and what has happened. But the Empress is here showing there's much abundance to come here. If you're looking for love, um, the Empress grants states in abundance. If it's finances you're looking for, um, Venus rules Libra and Taurus here in this energy. This Empress is Libra and Taurus and they're ruled by the planet of Venus. Venus is the goddess of beauty, of love, and abundance here. And she shows up in Venus and she over, you know, gives you much love, as much love as you can handle in abundance. When Venus is in Taurus, it's about your finances, your assets, the things you value and you treasure, and, um, you know, the things that you love that are near and dear to you. And they appreciate both beautiful things and both energies and both of the zodiac here. So I feel like Venus is definitely showing up telling you the possibilities of this situation is love. This is someone that's coming in emotionally mature here wanting to hold on really really tight to the connection i see you or your person aren't going anywhere anytime soon and you could possibly be having kids with them or getting married here in the near future so for your likely outcome i'm gonna get some more cards spirits we have the likely outcome position king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy all right this is going to be someone you shared a past life connection with, also with that Six of Cups energy here on your side, Libra. I'll leave it up to you to, you know, discern that. Okay, well, Knight of Cups. Oh, yeah. King of Pentacles. So, with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. And then we have Six of Wands. I'm going to take this for you guys as well. Um, I really see here that um, Temperance here. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. So I really see here that the universe needs you to be patient, you know, to allow the healing that your person is going through to take place here in this Four of Swords energy. Uh, maybe they're healing from family situations. It could be you and their situation. It could be many, many things they're healing from right now, from coming out of a, you know, very, very bad financial situation right now. Just healing, paying attention to their self and embodying, trying to embody their highest vibration here. They want to come to you tempered out, well balanced here and structured. The universe wants you to be patient and to allow the ebbs and flows of life to take place. But more than that, know that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you create this balance here, right? In your life of what's taking place between you and your person. That's your mutual energies, okay? When it comes to temperance on your side, I feel that things you want to complete right now in your life with the knight of swords there's things you're going to show up and need to cut off and people you're going to need to cut off here to reach this world type of energy but you're on your way things can be successfully completed that you start when you embody this energy and be patient and allow your temperance energy your inner temperance to help you right so i see here that your person and like the outcome with the King of Pentacles, this is telling me this person wants to come forward with a solid offer. This is someone who is trustworthy, dependable. Um, this is someone that you can invest in. You can invest your emotions. You can invest, right, for the mutual energies. You can invest your heart with this person. This is someone who will not let you down, who can probably help you financially. They can take care of you. The King of Pentacles is a business owner or an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> So I definitely see here this person's coming in with offers, with solid offers. And um, like I said, with the four of pentacles, it could be Capricorn energy. They just want to hold on to this connection, to hold on to you. So this person is coming in, showing up and possibly showing out. They're going to have something to brag about, right? And I'm also saying that, you know, new person's on their way in with a couple love here. Knight of Cups, Six of Wands here. This is your likely outcome <laughs> the likely outcome is as long as you be patient and allow for things to be balanced out and wait in due time things will come into fruition here right but this king of pentacles energy this is someone that's going to come off very very sure of themselves if it's king or queen it can be either or right um cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sag and that knight of cups six of wands they want recognition they want to be the one in your life right this person probably sees you as someone that has obtained world success you could be on a social platform somewhere that you are living your best life and your person sees that and they want a piece of that with you. You know, they're not just showing up here trying to ride off of your dime. I feel like this person is showing up here coming in with offers to begin with. So it's someone that you're going to have a very, very 
you know, magnetic connection with, with temperance here, as well as six of cups. This is something that it's going to take time to incorporate this person, this energy into your life because it's very magnetic. It's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of strong passion for you and this person. Okay, that's soulmate energy for some of you guys. So, yeah, it's beautiful energy. It's cool. <laughs> Let me get... Um, no, I want a Queen of the Moon Oracle. Queen of the Moon. Spirit said, let's Queen of the Moon them. <laughs> So from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, what messages do we have from our lovely, lovely Libras? It will not be an extended recording to this, guys. I didn't do it for the other six signs, so I'm not going to be able to do extended for the last six signs. You know, it just wouldn't be fair. And I get emails like, oh, well, this, this, and that for the cross watchers that watch multiples. <laughs> All right, Queen of the Moon. Nourishment. That's the Emperor's energy. Yeah. I feel like if you nurture this, um, the... the <clears throat> Potential for growth here is definitely guaranteed in that inference type of energy. She's abundant, right? She is the giver and creator of life. This is Mother Gaia manifest in the physical. What can't this inference do? They say you as the queen of all queens. As long as you nourish the situation, this begins with self-love, with self-nourishment first. Don't go outside yourself seeking happiness. Find it within yourself first. That's going to extend it to your energetic field, into your aura here. Blossoming beautifully. Those soul connection, those ties, those bonds that you long for, right? Coming back your way, making its way back to you. Number 33, this is the number of mastery of completion here. These are your angels and your ancestors showing up here, giving you a look in advance of what your future can look like, right? Okay, guys, so I want to finish here reading off with some Kipper Oracle cards. For my lovely Libras. What messages do we have from the Kipper for Libra? Message. <laughs> They're coming in with a message. So that's that Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, oh yeah, someone you have kids with or they potentially want a kid here. You got child, a message. Oh, okay, Empress and Queen of Cups. <laughs> Some of you guys are um, gonna find out you're pregnant. Wow, blossoming and nourishment. We, we, Somebody's having a baby. Courtship and wealthy man. <laughs> this king of pentacles seems to be showing up wearing his bag on his sleeve. This person is not even playing about the connection. They want to come in. They want to upgrade you. This person is very confident, very cocky, very proud. Look at this guy, period. <laughs> so I'm feeling like you're wealthy man your king of pentacles here this is the same person and they are coming to get their emperors period right this person is coming in to give you a connection that is going to change your whole life right your whole world you're going to feel like you are in the clouds it's going to have you on cloud nine and yeah there's going to be a lot of people the beings in the universe the beings in your life witnessing this level of witnessing this growth this love this abundance right and you know it's going to be your time for celebration period your time to shine. This is your moment. This is your time, right? You, some of you guys have your person that is watching you. Um, if you're doing like social media, if you have platforms and other places, your person definitely sees you. I see here distant horizons and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is very methodical. They're very intelligent. They are a planner here. This person is coming in with offers and they are not even playing about it. They see you as someone they want to spend the rest of their life with, but this is something that's coming to you guys here in the near future. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So this person can sit back and watch for quite a while before they come in with an offer because they're so solid. They're so on their game when they come in it's like wow like this person's gonna know like your favorite color rose they're gonna know your favorite place to eat they're watching you they're studying you they want to take the leap of faith towards you they see you as someone they want a new opportunity with this person wants to take the risk on coming towards you and being with you because this is all they think about is you and this energy here right so be careful of those around you make sure you're um waiting out the friends from the foes here because you got people that are going to be coming in you're going to have to stand your ground here right standing up for yourself and um maybe someone around you or close to you as well needs that type of of you know protection from you knight of wands this person could have been a player in the past and could be fighting off his player's ways or it could be people from this person's past coming back in trying to interrupt your happiness here so just be careful with that labor okay 
So yeah, I definitely want to tell you guys that um, I definitely see things getting better for you. I definitely see things that you want coming into fruition here. Um, you have unexpected income as well coming your way. So some of you guys, your money is going to be getting better. You're going to have those solid investments come through for you. The Emperor's energy, like the seeds you planted, are beginning to blossom, you know. They're beginning to blossom because you're nourishing them with your intention, with showing up, with doing the work here, and they're blossoming beautifully. So for you guys, this connection, of course, I'm going to say it is love. Your person loves you. There's love here. So I hope you guys got what you needed. Thank you all so much for joining me over here on Spirit and Me 1111. Don't forget to join and become a member and be a part of my awesome journey with me as I get more enlightened and help you guys over there on your journey as well. Namaste.